so relaxing. Thanks. I hope that you won't mind me playing music sometimes. No, it's like a free concert. I'm going to charge you. One delicious iced coffee every morning. <laughs> Deal. Hey, we should try vlogging. Gabby, who dis? Uh, this is Megan. She's thinking about moving in upstairs. Apparently Lucas is leaving. Oh, well, this place is boring AF. There's no pets here other than dogs. The garbage chute's too small to ride down in. And the family in 103 doesn't let you borrow their baby, even if you say you'll bring it back in an hour. Okay, Gabby, I don't think anyone cares about that other than you. Yeah, I'm more here for the location and the atmosphere. Suit yourself, Maggie. I'm gonna have some people over. What people? I don't know, I think like 10? I said what people? Exactly. Nice to meet you, Matilda. Sorry about my roommate slash best friend. She can be a bit obnoxious and rude. It's actually surprising you two live together. You seem so tranquil. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of people say that. You know, sometimes I wonder what it would be like to live with someone more compatible. Like someone who doesn't leave clothes in the living room? How do those even get there? It's her sex corner. I had to compromise something in order to throw away her cats. You threw away your cats? They're already dead. I spilled beans on the wall. How does this keep happening? Dance party with beans. Maybe you want to live in a less pristine apartment since you're so clumsy, you know? Like you could let your freak flag fly. Mm, nope, you can't beat the price of living with Allison. Because there is no price. You live here for free. Right. You know, I'd pay rent if you asked. Did Lucas mention that his cat Muffins left scratches all over his floor? Uh, yeah, he said that I could probably buffer those out. <gasps> Lucas doesn't have a cat named Muffins! The only pets in this building are dogs, I said that earlier! Who are you? Look, I'm still Megan, I'm just not moving upstairs. I knew it. Yeah, we all knew that. We high-fived about it two seconds ago. Oh yeah. Look, I'm sorry about lying. I've just been trying to get into this building for years, and when I met Allison downstairs and she invited me up, it was like, this is my opening. I just needed to get rid of you. You can't get rid of me. I'm like HSV2, genital herpes. Do you really want to live with someone who compares themselves to genital herpes? Yes, because we don't stigmatize STDs in our home, and we also don't lie. Okay. <laughs> I said good day. No, you didn't. I lie all the time. I know, but you're bad at it. It's going to be more like 20 people later. You mean 30? Yeah, something like that. 35? Oh, God. Okay. Well, Jay might bring his brother, and also, like, gay Michael might bring straight Michael, so I can't account for people's plus ones. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be more like a rave later. Just move the sex corner to your closet. You make it so hard to live with you. I find another dead animal in that room.